Hey folks, it's IOE Thrower back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is off to Ninja, and he is in his Grill 15. This is a tier 10 game on Siegfried Line. And look, woo, we're running some chocolate in this thing. So, um, wow, that camo is so brightly colored. <laughs> Uh, so he is going for his 260 tank destroyer mission. It's the last one before he gets to 260, and he needs 8,000 damage in this game in order to achieve it. Um, ooh, camera. Good, good, good. So, yeah. Um, this is, of course, the Grill 15. This is the other tank destroyer uh, down the German tank destroyer tech tree. It's not the exile, but it's counterpart kind of thing, and um, it's not as popular as it used to be. I, th I believe it got nerfed at some point recently, and, and it's just like the popularity really tanked. Um, but be before that, it was a oh, half bad tank. Nice shot into the Super Conqueror, gets lit for it, but tracks the Super Conqueror, meaning a whole 30 damage can be applied to him. From artillery. Hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe not <laughs> quite what you he was going for. Oh, well. Ooh, we can see the top capoa of that E5. Um, that is one of the weak spots on that tank, though. It's a very tiny weak spot. This gun does have laser accuracy, so assuming that that E5 stops moving long enough, we can probably put a shell into him. I don't know if that's going to happen, though. Oh, looks like we catch another E5 on the move. He just turned his turret sideways and gave us that silhouette to shoot at. Even so, if you look closely, you can see we just barely tagged the top of that turret. If that shell had gone any lower, that would not have um, hit because the, the hillside was, uh, was actually blocking most of that at the, the time, and if he'd gone any higher, obviously it would have just flown over the top of the tank. But I mean, if he's gonna back up and wanna shoot him again, apparently he's just gonna keep backing up and wanna shoot him again. <laughs> There's no reason not to farm some damage off him, right? Okay. Deal. <laughs> uh, I don't know what he was thinking. I mean, if you get, if you get shot in a spot, do you go back to that same spot? I don't. I don't want to get shot again. Like, I just kept reversing back into the same spot, being like, Oh, he won't shoot me now. Oh, he won't shoot me now. <laughs> well, why not? Ooh. You know, it's been a long time since I've been in this bunker. Uh, looks like you can kind of shoot around it, but not really. Uh, and so Ninja's just going to advance all the way up. I think he's still focused on, on taking that, that super conk. Sorry for the yawn. Um, it's early in the morning. Try and get this done so I can stream for the rest of the afternoon. And uh, that is what I'm hoping to do. Oh, <laughs> I forget. This video is going to come out on Wednesday. The streaming should be happening on Tuesday. So don't be looking for me to stream on Wednesday because that ain't going to happen. But hopefully I can stream on Tuesday. And, uh,. I need to get this done to, to, for that to happen. Um, with luck, assuming I'm not working. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure I'm going to try and start streaming every Tuesday night. Um, because my family goes out for several hours, and why not? Um, assuming I have all my games for the week recorded already, of course. Um, so, pushing in towards the town... I mean, there's no reason for him to sit out there anymore. If the enemy isn't winning, they're not going to be pushing into him. So he's got to go find them if he wants shots. I don't know why I'm still yawning, though. I'm, I'm not that tired. I had a great sleep, actually. Ooh, catching the side of a super conk. That is actually one of the few ways you can kill that thing. Uh, if it's looking straight at you, especially over a hill, it is nigh on impossible to do damage to. You're going to have to either find a shot into his tracks like he did at first, or find a shot into the side of the turret like we did just now. 
And that is about the only two ways you're going to kill that thing, really. Um, obviously, you can drop bombs on or HE it to death or something like that, but um, it's not as popular. Holy smokes! Well, so now we all know where the Amorak is on, a, on a version 4. Apparently, it's in the back tire. Because I swear he hit the, the back track <laughs> drive wheel. <laughs> but apparently that's where the uh, the Amarok is stored, right? So, um... <laughs> he's, he only needs another 3k damage, guys. It's not that much, right? He does have HE loaded up. Uh, and he is planning on using AP next. But he's hoping he has something big with HE. And... Holy smokes, there is a thousand damage into the back of the grill. Yep, only 2k left before he has hit his um, 8,000 damage goal. And he's looking to take on E100. E100 was not expecting a grill 15 to be sitting right there. And comes around the corner and gets smacked in the face. Now we only need a thousand damage before we are at our goal. And it looks like this E100. No, we only have him for 600. I thought for a second we just Amorak somebody else. Uh, no, in fact, we are only 300 damage away from his goal and his mission done. Oh, it bounced! He reversed back too far and the shot went into the gun mantle and just died on impact. He's going to ignore the mouse, which everybody's focusing down, and he is going after the enemy grill. He still has heat loaded, mind you, so he cannot shoot tracks. He must shoot. There we go. Into the body of the tank. He has shot heat. I don't think he cares, so he is typing in chat and, <laughs> and driving into a pond. Don't, don't die after all that. That would not be good. But, um, oh. Enemy Bat Chat drowned himself. There's only one artillery left in the game. And Ninja has his 260, which he's been apparently doing forever. Um, I don't remember when he started it, but I'm pretty sure he started like the day personal missions came out. And he's finally gotten a hold of it. Good job, sir. Thank you for saying us this victory, which obviously, you know, highlights your win. We're going to jump over and see what his battle results were. Mastery Badge, Spotter, Druzer, Demo Expert, Fighter, and Fire fe for Effect. He also gets 23 Bonds, a High Caliber, and Tank Sniper Awards. Wow. Uh, stay tuned after everything, by the way. There is a bonus clip for today. And uh, 8,700 damage. 1,300 base experience and 5 kills. <laughs> the rest of his team... Is like nowhere near close to him on damage. Good. What? How? How? How do you do this little damage? And tier 10 game. What were you doing the entire game? <laughs> Our tour did more damage than some of these guys. Wow. Okay. Um. Wow. Well done, sir. That was a great game. Thank you so much for saying it in. It was it was actually a lot of fun to watch. That's almost 10k damage combined in a single game. If you want a good 10k damage game, though, check out Saturday, and we'll show you that. Um, but for today, it is straight into the bonus clip, and I'll see you all later. This is IOE throughout. <laughs>